What are we learning about? Tomboys. The question is always, well, what is a tomboy? In Wikipedia's definition, a tomboy is a girl who exhibits characteristics, behaviors uh, that is typical, considered typical of boys. Dictionary.com has a slightly different definition. An energetic, sometimes boisterous girl whose behavior and pursuits, especially in games and sport, are considered more typical of boys than of girls. So generally, I think you can take away like, what is the mainstream understanding of a tomboy? It's, it's a, a girl that's like a boy, a boyish girl. Well, Professor Lando, that's what Wikipedia says. That's what dictionary.com says. What, what does Professor Lando say? about uh, a tomboy. Well, I have a lot to say about tomboys. Hey class, really quick, I wanted to let you know that we got some new merch, check it out. Some uh, Ligma University school spirit. Hat, polo shirt, and uh, some other t-shirts over at professorlando.com. This is a pre-order campaign, so from now until June 6th, you can place your orders, and then they will ship out uh, late summer. So uh, if you wanna show some school spirit, you can go ahead and check that out. Thank you. What are the characteristics, what are the traits that make up a tomboy. Trait number one, short hair. Probably the, the main feature that is associated. We see people conflating a girl with short hair with tomboys very often. Short hair, is, it, it's only a part of the puzzle. But you see a girl, you see a character with short hair and you're like, tomboy, slow down a little bit. Let's not jump to conclusions. The next characteristic I believe uh, to make up a tomboy is Attitude. Tomboys are, especially in media, right? We're talking about anime, movies. They're a specific type of character. They are often calm, cool, collected, or the blunt, uh, like dictionary.com said, boisterous, like spunky type of person. Spirit and guts, moxie and pluck. I think these two are generally like the tomboy archetypes. Next trait is interests. Uh, interest in fitness, uh, sports, fighting, being a warrior, or maybe simply cross-dressing as a boy or male. Basically, interested in things normally associated uh, with boys. Professor Lando's tomboy equilibrium model. What is it? Well, the what ifs and make it or break it cases of tomboyishness comes down to the relationship of those traits, but ultimately certain qualities. Cool versus cute. Being a tomboy is, is a delicate balance between cool and cute. Tomboys are cool and cute. They can't be cool and not cute. They can't be cute and not cool. There's a balance. On this side you have cool, and this side you have cute. Somewhere along this spectrum, you have a tomboy. And cool and cute are both contributing to the essence of this tomboyishness. And yes, being the tomboy, you can go back and forth on the spectrum to varying degrees. There are some tomboys that pull more to cool. There are some tomboys that pull more towards cute. You know, life is not a binary, shades of gray, yada yada. But if you start to pull too far from one, one side, you'll break this link and I believe that no longer becomes a tomboy. That's just a cool girl. Likewise, on the other end of the spectrum, if you pull too close to cute, you'll break this chain and you just have a cute girl. There needs to be a balance between cool and cute to make a tomboy. I guess you could really call it like, there's this amorphous zone right here. This is the Goldilocks zone of tomboyishness. Hot versus sexy. In Professor Orlando's tomboy equilibrium model, tomboys, are hot, but not sexy. When I saw them, I, I thought to myself, that character is more, it's more like a vixen, you know, like, like a babe. Do we know who this is? Winry Rock Bell, the auto male girl. Yes, from Full Metal Alchemist. Do you think this is a tomboy? In my opinion, I think Winry Rock Bell from Full Metal Alchemist is not a tomboy. She has the attitude and personality, right? She's kind of like spunky, right? Kind of, kind of spunky, a little boisterous, um, and has the interest, right? A boyish interest of, you know, she's a mechanic, right? She, it's kind of associated with like being a rough, like masculine, right? Kind of rough. 
I attribute a sort of point system mentally. The long hair is associated with sexiness. We talked about cute versus cool. Rinri in general, very cute, but I believe she lacks coolness. Just being a mechanic is not necessarily automatically cool. I believe there are a certain amount of points of coolness to being a mechanic. Not as many cool points as something like being like a fighter, right? Or being like a weightlifter. Overall, Rinri has too high of a cute stat and, and not enough cool points to push her over the edge to be a tomboy. Does that make sense? Like Rinri, when you watch the show, she, yeah, she's spunky. She's a mechanic, but she's just, too cute, too cutesy. I don't really feel that coolness, that boyishness of her. In the mainstream discussion of tomboys and femboys, they're often put in the same sphere. I think viewed in the same level of thing, of concept. You know, we talk about like femboy hooters, tomboy outback steakhouse. I think this is a false comparison. This is not a correct comparison to make. I think people think femboys and tomboys are opposite sides of the spectrum but I don't think so. To explain why, I, I, we're gonna use some examples. When we talk about femboys, especially like how they're perceived in pop culture, mainstream culture right now, I, I wanna say like when a male is dressed up feminine, you know, maybe with a skirt, maybe they're wearing thigh highs, maybe a choker, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. I think most people will be like, oh, that's a femboy. Like Astolfo from Fate Grand Order, Felix, from ReZero, Venti from Genshin Impact, Clover Cookie from Cookie Run Kingdom. These femboys, they vary widely in their personalities and the type of character, type of person they are. And I think most people are, would be like, yes, that's a femboy. You know, femboys is, is not the same as tomboys because when you look at tomboys, their personalities, it's more of the same thing. It's more of this certain kind of character archetype, these more narrow type of traits. When I'm watching like a new anime or something and there's like a character and it's like a boy, it's a guy, but it's dressed like a girl. I'm like, oh, it's a femboy, another one, another one added to the collection. It doesn't matter what type of character they are. They could be timid, they could be shy, they could be, you know, loud, they can be outgoing, they can be snarky. Like, I'm just like, ah, femboy. But with the tomboys, for some reason, I'm more critical. You might be asking, Professor Lando, you're, you're saying a lot of things aren't tomboys. Well, what is a tomboy? Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan, I believe is a true, honest to goodness tomboy. We have the cool factor, a strong fighter, calm and collected, a seriousness about her, but also passionate. And because of her bluntness and her attitude often leads her to coming across as very cute at times, right? Leads her open to vulnerability due to her seriousness, usual demeanor, comes across as very cute. She also has abs and is very fit. We're getting that, that interest, right? She's a fighter, she's a warrior. She's, she, you understand Mikasa Ackerman to be like a very strong character. Cherry on top also just has short hair. And again, because of the combination of like the coolness, I think overall, like if I, would, if I was to say like, do I think Mikasa is hot or sexy? Like, yeah, she could be minute, minutely or to some degree sexy, but I think her hotness value, like I think she's way hotter than she is like sexy. And you know, again, as a reminder, like when, when I say sexy, what am I talking about? Like I'm talking about like, you know, bodacious, like a vixen, a babe. I think Mikasa is not really that. I wouldn't really say like, oh, she's such a babe. She's so sexy. She, it's more like, oh, she's so hot. Like with short hair being very, very, very commonly uh, associated with tomboys, I think there's another trait that's often strongly associated with tomboys, fit chicks or muscular girls. We'll be using a real life example. Uh, in analyzing muscular girls and why we like them so much, fit chicks, I'd like to present figure A. TikTok influencer, fitness influencer, lean beef patty. We're gonna be analyzing this figure A as, uh, and we're gonna break down like why, why do we like fit chicks? Point one, the abs. When I look at these abs, I, I, I just get the desire to like want to have my face like shaved down against those steel grates. Like 
like I was being dragged against the asphalt hanging off of like a speeding car. And like I would want that until my face was left looking like, like a shredded stick of string cheese. So, so that, that, is, that is abs. And, and two, thighs. Um, and when we look at the thighs, what do we think? You know, the, the thighs are the location of, of where I would like to have my head crushed, l like a watermelon, of course, or any fruit. And I want, I want my head to be crushed until my, my skull cracks and my brain matter is just splattered against the fucking floor. And, and the last thought that the neurons of, of my brain are processing before the gray matter gets splattered everywhere. It, 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 the last thing that they're processing is just like the sh sheer amounts of like dopamine and serotonin that, that is just coming out of my head. And, and the third is the look she's giving us. Like notice how she's looking down at you. You're scum. You're scum, you're nothing. And she, she knows it. And that's exactly what I like. Mm -hmm.